Hey GTI fans, we're back with another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. I believe this is episode 21 of the Geek Tech Industries server. Zlot here. Um, so as you can see, I'm looking at my hover vehicle right now. So last episode, we did a bunch of work on the medical center. Uh, I did a bunch of work after that. I completed the connection of all the stuff on the top so i did a whole bunch of digging my hv was just stupendous for me as usual it has just carried me through this whole process uh literally um so we can see the sun is just coming up here. We're up on the top plateau here on the flat of the top plateau. You can see I've dug it all out now. Um, I don't want to go into night sight because the sun is just cresting. So we're going to catch that as it comes up. And we'll, we'll see the sunrise to uh, check out our work. But what I will do is go into my drone and that way we can get a real view of what's going on here. So as the sun comes up, we can see the um, machine shop here. I finally finished constructing it. <clears throat> you can see it's pretty big. Uh, it's multi-level. I've got hangar bay doors in working. It's sealed off. It needs a lot of work though. All it is is basically a box with some floors and doors. Uh, I've also got the <clears throat> the exterior wall. Okay, my drone is complaining here. Let's um, let's move over. Actually, let's you know what? Let's uh, let's take the HV down. I don't need it up here anymore. Um, so this will be the last time I'll have it up here, probably, because I don't really need it anymore up here. So let's just do what we normally do, power it on first, open that, let's go to my uh, third person view here, uh, jump in the cockpit, and probably got to go in, no, oh, the engines are on, okay, we'll just get some hover height going here, so we want to go over to the machine shop, if I, I should be able to just jump over let me um let me do my boost and oh shit on the medical center don't really want to smash into a glass building do i okay so there we go okay so that's what it's looking like so far we have the medical center here um the here let me Turn my lights on. Just a, oof, it's a little bright. It's a little bright, but you can see that it is now looking pretty good on the front there. It's it's all decoed out inside, decoed on the thing. It's painted. Um, so we're getting we're getting there we're getting there so today i thought we would do some work here and oh, really i left i was just telling myself nobody should ever park there because that is like the worst place to park and what did i do i parked there <sighs> okay let's just Let's just get out. So we'll take the side door here. You can see we got to do a lot of uh, uh, all the texturing and painting still. Um, here, let's hit that as we see it, right? So we're going to go with the, for the, you know what? This needs to go it is now moved over so this needs to be added so let's get these blocks down and that is the thin ramp 
right to there. And I think for this, we want to texture it something a little different. Maybe, maybe what we have going on in the inside floor now. Uh, because it's a machine shop, oh, I gotta paint that too. Machine shop, I decided to go with this. Um, oh, I did that on the ramp too, did I? Hmm, that's not a bad idea. I'll do it on the outside on the ramp. Anyway, I decided to go with this sort of metal and or uh, rubber matting look. I'm gonna call it rubber matting. Uh, you guys can call it whatever you want, but it looks like rubber matting to me. And I think I want to go with that. But on the outside, on the outside, hmm, let's put some carpet down. No, just kidding. Uh, uh, you know what? On the outside, it's going to endure the elements. Let's just keep the theme. If it's outside and during the elements on the ground that shit drives on, then it gets this texture. Okay. Now, did I have that applied all block? No, I didn't. Of course I didn't because I was not paying attention. That's okay. It's okay. We'll just get that and we'll get that. Uh, let's paint this up. This is obviously going to be that uh, grayish color. Uh, okay, and then I saw in here that it's missing a bunch of gray. So we'll get that in here. And then we'll go inside. And what I want to do today is build the mezzanine area of the shop and put some gear in. Um, Okay, my, my SV here is pissing me off really. I'm gonna I'm gonna move it. Oh I love low gravity planets. Don't need my jetpack to get into my SV. Okay, let's power this Bepi on. Yeah, I do this every time. I know it's a ritual, but it's just easier. So actually, you know what? I'm going to take you a quick tour with the SV. So here is the first level. What I'm going to do down here is let's turn my lights on. It's no, let's not turn my lights on. Holy crap. Those are light. Bright light. Okay. Uh, down here, I got to build a mezzanine. You can see up there is a uh, door coming out from the medical center, the second floor of the medical center. So a kind of kludgy. It ended up on the same area as the first floor here you know what we'll work with it i'm going to put up some walkway uh metal walkways so some we're going to have a bit of an industrial look on the inside of this and, and i mean you know it's a machine shop so we're going to have some gear in here i'm just touching the floor um we're going to have some gear in here and with the mezzanine, it's only going to be a two blocks high from the ground of the mezzanine. So that's not, not bad. Two, two blocks we can work with. So maybe have a little, a little snack area up there in the mezzanine because it, it dead ends right there. So we're going to need either stairs up to the mezzanine or, or an elevator. And I'm going to, I want to personally do an elevator in the bottom corner there and I'm just going to do it up to there so quick quick dirty access to the other floor um, through these doors we'll get to that we'll get to that let's let's go let's see I got a lot of painting and texturing to do let's just go straight up so we're gonna you can notice that there's multiple levels here all with hangar doors that that open and we finally get to the ceiling. Uh, I really like that, really cool. We've got, um, now obviously to park in here might be a little tricky. Got to alt in, make sure you're above the, obviously I was because I just flew in, but uh, I just came out. Um, you can see that it, let me go down. You can see that, that my, 
My SV really only barely fits uh, front to back. Lots of room on the sides, but front to back, um, I was, I actually originally had seven by fives turned together, so it made a seven by 10, and 10 was wide enough, but, but seven was not. I could not get through the seven spot with my SV. So I did a 10 by five, and that created a 10 by 10. Um, you can see this is going to be a landing area for larger SVs that, um, you know, that I may make in the future or whatever. So this will be a, a, you know, a larger SV or quick, quick and dirty land, jump in the uh, tower here. This is going to be the control tower coming off. Uh, let's just land here. Let's just touch down here. Um. I believe I got elevators coming up to here. So even if I go down, so let's, yeah, let's shut this off. We're going to jump out or, you know, not let's jump out. I'm not really sure what to do with the upper deck texture. Uh, I got to figure that out. So if this is going to be like a landing, Bay. I mean, the default, meh. Eh. Or do I want to go something gnarly? Oh, I can't. This has no gnarliness to it. It's concrete. What about symbols? Huh. Should I do big giant? Maybe I should do the, this symbol type thing around the hangar. That's not a bad idea. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. Okay. And then go here. Oh no, that'll be on this corner. Yeah, so we've got to do that here. And then, but it's still the default texture underneath. So the default texture allows that symbol. So some, some textures don't allow symbols, right? So, uh, Marble? No. Crap. What about if I do something like... And then paint it? Will it accept paint at this point? Let's see. Oh, it does. Huh. That kind of looks like, that looks like tarmac, doesn't it? Okay. So what if we do black? Okay. I, there we go. There we go. I think, I think this is our texture that we're going with for the roof, that black, that tech. Okay. So. That was this. Okay, so let's texture this up. Get this everywhere. Just get it everywhere. Get it over, get it on. Oh, shit, I'm not going all through. Oh, good. And that's why I usually don't have that check because I start derping out and, and uh, painting stuff and not realizing. And then it's like, oh no, I fail. Okay. So I gotta keep the edge ones. I could, I guess I could do, well, let's see. Let's get this finished and we'll take a look.
yeah, I'm thinking that's going to look really good. I like it. Okay. And then we're going to have to make a, a second hanger spot, I guess. Or not a hanger, but a parking stall over there. Maybe a small one here. I wonder if we can create a circle. Let's take a look at the symbols in a bit. I wonder if we can create a fairly large circle. I'd like to be able to do that. We need more block options. So let's paint this up really quick. I think uh, as the game expands, they're probably gonna release more block shapes, maybe more intricate block shapes, like, um, like maybe a sphere made out of triangles uh, that's based on a cube size, you know, like a two by two and a three by three, a four by four. Um, and then, I mean, that would be like a, a huge, a huge thing to be able to make a, a nice circle just with a, a few cubes, right? Uh, out of glass. Uh, you know, you can do that right now with a, with small circles for basic blocks, but you can't really do the big, anything giant size. Yeah. So that'd be something I'd like to see <clears throat> is the capability of doing like a, a nine by nine or a 15 by 15 sphere, you know, or, um, like a nice smooth one too, you know, made up made out of concrete and or steel. So they both get, they can both take the, uh, 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 the same block stuff. And I think they do share a lot of the bl same blocks. I think most blocks share a lot of the same shapes right now. So, okay, let's, oh, am I, so that doesn't matter because that's going to get this one. So that gets, oh, see right now, that's okay. I think I want to texture that anyway. You can see painting that does nothing to this texture. So, hmm. But then that interferes. But I want to put up the palisade. You know what? I'll do a I'll do a, a half symbol to half highlight it. I know it's it's cocked right into the corner and I had to do that on purpose. I ran into so many structural integrity problems. Holy crap. Building this building was a complete nightmare. Uh wow, wow, wow. I I must have lost <sighs> 12 hangar bay doors in total with how many times I had collapses and stuff. It was just, I was, I was getting really frustrated at one point And then I finally just decided, you know, this, this open concept, uh, thing is just not working. So I cut a, I just put a wall down the center of it and I'm like, screw it. I'm going to throw it in between two walls. And it worked and it actually worked quite well. It actually, um, Segregated it, segregated it off quite nicely so that um, it, it all just kind of fit together. So sometimes having crappy luck can lead to the right path, so to speak. Um, yeah, I mean, I was trying to do stuff with the building that I knew was going to be pressing my luck with structural integrity and, and there was just so many times when, when it would be like, okay, only got like two more pieces and this last piece here. Cause I'd have like the hangar bay doors in and stuff. And then it'd be like, okay, one more section of the roof and boom. And literally half the building would blow up like no shit, like, like seven blocks deep. All the way. it was like insane. I couldn't believe him. Like, why the structural integrity on the outside walls was all solid, like bright green. So it made no sense for those blocks to, to go kaplooey. Um, I really think they need to look at that and maybe 
fix that because that's, you know, okay, I get it. Things are going to collapse and pull other structurally found, sound stuff with it. Uh, I, maybe is that what the, is that what, no, that's not it. What, uh, what was I doing here? I was doing, wasn't that it? Oh, no, I was doing this, derp derp. Okay. Um, oh, hey, it got rid of the paint. Really? I got to repaint that? Are you kidding me? Okay, well, it's a good thing I didn't do a lot of it. <laughs> okay, okay. See, I've never used this texture before, obviously. Um, could use it for that, like, blue screen, too, I guess. Get this textured. So I guess I got to texture the whole freaking thing first before painting it. Okay, well, uh, let's look to see what this looks like first then. So let's just paint this really quick. So if it looks stupid, then I'll get rid of the symbol. Whoa. The drone is a little twitchy to paint with sometimes, but unfortunately it's the fastest and easiest tool to use. Okay, got that last one, good enough for now. Okay, let's, uh, let's try this. So it was a symbol and we're going with this. So we want to go like that and spin it. Okay. And we'll just run that all the way down. Okay. And then what if I, oh. I can symbol that. I can symbol that. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> we'll symbol it. There, that'll that that won't be so bad then. Okay. Let's get this done. So we'll spin that. So in order to spin it, you just click again and it should spin the symbol. Well, at least most symbols are like that. I don't know if I've ran into one that isn't like that yet, but I don't do a lot of symboling, so, uh, I mean, maybe. Oh, you can't drag it. You gotta, you gotta hit the button every time to actually apply the symbol. It's okay. It's not like, it's not like painting where you, oops. Yeah, that's wrong. There we go. So how's that looking? See from, see that does tie it in. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. And then with the palisades up, with the palisades up, it'll actually eat up a chunk of that. We're only going to see the uh, the diagonal lines. That's okay. That's okay. Get this up. Get this done. Oops. Try that again. There we go. Okay. Uh, so that's symboled. Let's get this painted. Go with the gray like we've been doing to match the theme everywhere. The gray matches the that theme anyway, and it and it, it made the tarmac pop. I gotta use stop using pop. It drives me nuts. It makes it stand out better. I like it. Let's see what it looks like with Palisades up. So, oops. Let's get a corner up. So we want to get the, oh, where'd you go? Nope, didn't want that. We want to get the four corners, right? So that one won't get one. This one will. OK. 
Okay. And then there's a corner there. So there's just three corners. Okay. Okay. So now that we're down here, we want to... What I do is I like to um, do a few each end until meeting in the middle. And that way you can determine if you need to do a, like a double block in the middle or um, <clears throat> it just making it look a little so it's not all off center and it's not that easy. Get these up. A couple more here. We're getting closer to meeting each other. Then if it doesn't work, I want to make sure that they meet in the center. See, it's not going to work. Okay, so. <sighs> Where is the center? Let's figure out the center. Because obviously, so we got one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just gonna stick this here for now. So that's ten in, not including the corner piece. One, two, three, four. Oh, stop that. Okay, let's just go a little up. There we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nah, ten. Okay. And then the mouse gets a little twitchy when you get distance going on. You can't do fine tuning with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> 11, 12. Hmm. So that's 10, 20, 32. Half of that is 16. So. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, would you look at that? I was dead center when, so we'll just plunk that there. Okay. So I know it. It looks a little funky, but it looks better being in the dead center with two of them together than on the sides. I've already tried this sort of thing a few times here and this is like the easiest way to get it to look semi-decent <clears throat> okay let's get this over here uh okay so let's go in well does that mean it's going to be the exact same amount because i think i made this the same width no it's not the same width is it i can't remember one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten there. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, it just worked out perfect. Sometimes, sometimes that happens where it's just, it just works. Just be thankful that that does that sometimes and go with it. And then over here, we'll get these in. So I want to go 
a tall one against the wall. Okay, so stop it. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. So twitchy. Six. And there we go. Seven. That worked out pretty good. Okay. Let's zap this guy. Okay, so we just had the duplication in the middle of that one side. Not that big of a deal. So now we will put in the smaller half ones. Ugh. It's so twitchy. Like right when I go to push the button, it moves. Okay. That is the drawback sometimes with the drone. It can be super ultra twi twitchy. Um, but trust me, it's still way easier than using your avatar to do this with. Okay, now if I line it up, it should just start jumping. There it goes. Jump, jump, jump. Come on. Ugh, you're not going to. Jump. Jump. Can I? Come on. Jump. Come on. Jump. Jump. Get in there. Thank you. Come on. Okay, get in there. Get in there. Get the palisades up. The uh, the palisades also have some functionality to them other than just for looks. Uh, they also are a half wall, so it actually does function as a uh, as a railing. <laughs> Um, you can see over it with your avatar. Oh, stop that. Come on, right there. Come on. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, okay, well, that's okay. Uh, yeah, so we got to do... So I don't did I do those over there? Did I do these? Yes, I did. Okay, okay. So good, good. Getting there. Getting there. So let's do. Let's just finish off these palisades, and then I'll uh, then we'll continue downstairs. Don't want to bore you guys with this repetitive sort of stuff. Do something a little more interesting. Get the mezzanine built. Stop it. So twitchy. This one may be a double in the middle. If so, that sucks because it's not going to match up the middle of that wall. Nope. Good. Got lucky. Okay. Uh, no, we didn't, because I totally screwed that up. Look at that. Oh, my God. Really? Oh, I suck so much. Let's try this again. I'll have to take them all out. So that means there is going to be a double up. Come on. Let's try this again. <laughs> derp a derp. That one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, God. I am way over, so it should be there. Yeah, it doesn't center with the other one, but I don't care. <sighs> it's imperfect. I don't care. I just don't care. I do, but I don't. There's really nothing I can do about it. I went with this design. It's got these flaws in it. It just is what it is. It's easier to point at the middle of the block to place a wall. 
So I'm actually, so you can see I'm actually targeting at the middle of the block, not the, not where I want the wall to place on, just place in the middle of the block. And that way it clicks in easier. Okay, get this zapped down. So I will texture all this up later. Let's go downstairs, turn our lights on. So that looks pretty good. I'm liking this. I'm liking the tarmac look to this. Okay, that's good. I'm glad I found something that does that. That that's suitable. We'll get that done later. I can do all that sort of um, repetitive, boring stuff off camera. We'll take the tower down. We're gonna go all the way down, all the way down. You can see there was many levels to it. Um, those actually connected up with other sections. So this one connects up with the this level. Um, so another, this is basically just like a big parking bay. So <laughs> I don't know even know if I'm going to deco it. But And then we got, we have these side rooms that got to do maybe something with, I don't know. That leads out onto the wall. Uh, yeah, so we've got these huge, humongous parking rooms, shop rooms, I don't know, workshop rooms. Well, they're not going to be workshop rooms because they only have small doors. So only these ones with the hangar bays are going to have the, um, this is actually going to be the primary workshop. So let's put some mezzanine stuff what I want to go with is here, I'm going to drone this up because we're going to start up in this top corner here. Um, and I guess I better eat something before I start starving. I might have to make more of those uh, mezzanine blocks, but. Okay, so let's now what? What do we have here? We've got that for walkway, sloped walkway, and that's it. Or blocks of, like full blocks. And it's gonna be one higher, but I, and I can't, so that's gonna be a little kludgy. It's not gonna be quite lined up with the floor unless I flip it over, which I'm gonna to have to do. Okay, so let's go with this. And we're gonna to have to, um, so shit sits on it properly, because you can see right now we're actually in the wrong block space. So what we wanna do is we wanna go like this and move it down one. So that that sits flush with the floor. Yeah, okay. So how wide do we want this mezzanine? I mean, we can make it as wide as we want. It's gonna be a bit of a lounge area, kind of a, uh, you know, probably have like a pool table, definitely a couple of bar fridges. Um, we're gonna need a food processor for snacks, you know, popcorn. Gotta have a, a popcorn machine. Um, okay, that's ridiculous. I don't need to go that far. <laughs> oh, what the hell I was thinking. Let's get rid of some of these. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling that length there. That's, that seems suitable. So I think we're also going to go with the industrial look of, oh, I didn't grab them. Let me grab them. Pretty sure I have a bunch. I can whip some up really quick while we're doing this anyway. Uh, everything you can see, I, I, oh, I stupidly, clicked on the auto group because I had so I had like 
600 ungrouped things, and I'm like, oh, I'll just auto group. It won't unname stuff. It didn't, but it shuffled everything. So now all my, like, uh, why would it have done that? That pissed me off. Anyway, so now my shit's all over the place. Kind of sucks. I might have to uh, move my stuff and rename all that because that pisses me off. Uh, okay, so we've got some walkways here. We'll move that. Yes, we do have some truss blocks. So that's what I was looking for, truss blocks. Um, let's put some of these cement blocks. I don't to have that many on me. Put these here. We can put these windows here. Uh, okay. So we've got the truss blocks. We can put those. I'm going to need way more than that. So let's get some truss blocks spinning up here. Um, let's cancel that. We don't need that anymore. What we want is we want the large truss blocks. Uh, I have no idea how many I'm going to use. Probably not a lot. Let's try 50 for now. <clears throat> okay, get that turned back on. So while those are spinning up, there they go. Let's start laying the other ones down. So I'm thinking um, we're going to use these truss blocks as like pillars, right? Kind of a real metallic y, machine y look to it. Um, now I don't want that, I want the truss block to come right out to there. So let's, come on, stop that. Stop. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna mark five. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got 10. Hmm. Hmm. Technically, we probably wouldn't even need the truss blocks. Or, huh, let's do, let's think of something a little less. Stop that. Come on. Keep bumping the wrong key. Let's, let's try something completely freaking different. Um, let's get this all the way over and that's not the block I want. Did I move those? Yes, I did. That's why they flip back. Okay, so that's what I want. Let's get that all the way across. I think, I don't even think I'm going to, I don't even think I'm going to need truss blocks. I might. Come on. Oh, it's so finicky. Come on. Just, I don't want to get too close, but I might have to. There we go. And stretch this. Come on. One more. One more. Come on. Thank you. Great thing about the machine shop being right beside the medical center is, you know, when you're just like got alcohol poisoning, um, chop off my hand, you know, drill a hole through my leg, anything like that, I can just quickly go over there and take care of it. this across now I want to work make a girder system of some sort using the truss blocks so I want to do like I want to start from like and 
I don't want to do a whole bunch of them. So I just want I can't do one in the center because there is no frickin' center because of these two blocks. It's a, it's an even number. Ah, I hate building an even numbers. It just screws me up. Um, hmm. So let's do three and then three or four and then four and that would leave two in the middle, three, and three, and at least four in the middle. I like that better. So let's do that. So we're going to do, that's facing the wrong way, and that's wrong. Oops, what am I doing? Derp, derp, that's not it. So we want three. Oh, right, I can't get it to touch because those are. Uh, right, because they're taking up that block, so it's going to look stupid anyway. Huh. You know what? Do I just do it anyway? And no, no, no. But what I should do is put the elevator blocks in. Yes, that's what I should do. I don't know. Maybe I'm not going to be using the trusses. I thought I was going to be. Hey, oh right, I can't, I gotta pop that out. Okay. And then we can get that in there. Okay, so now there's a way to get up there. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to have some benches and stuff and some cabinets. I wish they had more deco. I'd love machine shop deco, like toolboxes and cool stuff like that. I'm sure that'll be coming eventually in the game. We're just, you know, we are in an alpha. I'm not going to, I'm not going to rag too much about lack of, lack of blocks and deco. Come on, come on. Just right, come on, right there. Okay, now hold down control, hold down my mouse, stretch it, one, two, three, and over. Okay, nope, not four, three, and there we go. Yeah, see it let me without putting any structural support. Let's take a look at the uh, structural integrity of it. It's only a little bit in the center. It's because it's metal. Metal has a lot longer reach to it. And because it's hitting another wall before it even reaches its limit, it's not even barely getting dark. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just, we'll go with no support stuff. I mean, I, I could do ones on the outside up and fill it in up to it. I mean, should I see what that looks like? No, I think that restricts the whole area, the whole open concept if I do that. So let's just leave that the way it is there. Uh, let's take a look at what we can do for railings. I don't want glass ones up here. I want more mechanical looking. So we're just going to do the, this style of rail. And we'll flip that like that. Now, 
do I want to use that block? It would prevent me from putting anything on the outside because I don't think I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this all the way across. Let's try. Let's try. Oh yeah. Yeah. It structural integrity started suffering a little bit there. You can see it there. Whatever. <clears throat> you know what? That allows me to put stuff right up to the rail now. So look at all the space for activities. So much space for activities. Okay. So there we go. A little mezzanine up there. Um, let's get rid of the structural integrity thing. Because that's just, whoa. We need a ton more lights. And this mezzanine is going to make a great spot to hang lights from. And literally hang them from. Because that block, I can't put anything in that block. It's going to actually defy gravity. Stop it. Okay, so we want these ones. Or wait, do we want the more mechanical looking? Yes. I think we do. So how many, how much of these do we want? We want frickin' a shit ton, don't we? They're all going to be hanging down. So let's start. Let's start. Right. It's it's actually really difficult to place these. <laughs> it doesn't want to crawl up the, the wall. It doesn't want to go there where I want. Oh. I gotta be looking directly up at it. Okay, so three in, and then we do same thing, three in. See that they're hanging there, and I think I think we're gonna go with that. So I think we're gonna leave it here, guys. Uh, I'm gonna finish decoing this up. And next time, uh, we will give you a better tour. Uh, but I am pretty much out of time now. So until next episode, you guys have yourself an awesome day. See you guys later.